For centuries, water has been a firefighter's primary weapon in the battle against fire. Until now. I had seen all the smoke pouring out of my basement. I was like, this can't be happening. When we arrived, there was heavy smoke coming out. And when I went over to grab the fire extinguisher, I realized that the Fit 5 was laying right beside it. And I said, hey, let's deploy the Fit 5. It's called fire interruption technology, or FIT, and it may be revolutionizing the way we fight fires. Pulled the cap off, pulled the detonator cord, and then I just kind of threw it underhand as hard as I could, and it extinguished the fire. It works like a grenade. You pull a pin and throw the device into a burning room where it explodes, but instead of creating fire, it puts it out using a non-toxic chemical mist. Dale Mann is an engineer for MDE, the Seattle testing lab for the FIT-5. The chemistry behind the FIT-5 is actually fairly simple. There are two principal components, the oxidizer, which provides the oxygen, and the organic fuel. Fire in the hole! When these two react, they produce an aerosol powder. That powder does several things to interrupt the chain reaction that we know as fire. Number one, it'll absorb a lot of heat. Number two, it will produce what we call a free radical. That free radical will stop that fire sequence, thereby putting out the flames. At first, Chief John DeCola and his crew of volunteer firefighters in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, didn't know what to make of the Fit Five. I was a little skeptical initially because I had no real backup information to show what it would do. Uh, once we got a sample device and saw it actually work on a fire training grounds, then ultimately we bought one. Pitching or throwing in a Fit 5 device is similar to throwing horseshoes or throwing a bowling ball down the alley. Wait. Some people say it's like throwing a frisbee if the window is up high or chest level. But it is almost a 10 pound device. So you need to get some practice. OK, go ahead. <laughs> nice. For these firefighters, this small, round device could be a lifesaver. So imagine if you're a first responder and you're responding to a 1,000 degree fire. That's hotter than their safety equipment is even able to handle. When you deploy a Fit 5, the temperature can drop to nearly 300 degrees in a matter of seconds. They're able to go in now and deal with that fire much more safely. Water from fire hoses often does more damage than the fire itself. Thanks to the Fit 5, firefighters only needed one gallon of water to put out the fire in Marianne Medved's basement. Something that doesn't get talked about very much, but is a key danger. When you pour vast amounts of cold water on a very hot fire, an enormous cloud of steam gets kicked back. Using a Fit 5, there's no danger of any kind of steam burn. ARA, the Seattle-based company that makes the Fit 5, says over 100 fire departments across the country are currently using it, and many others are interested in learning more about how it works. So are the days of fighting fires with hydrants and hoses over? It is just a tool. It's not meant to take the place of fire hoses, and it's certainly not meant to take the place of additional manpower and staffing levels in any of our departments. It may not be ready to completely replace the old way of fighting fires. The Fit 5 only works in small enclosed spaces. But for Marianne Medved, the Fit 5 meant the difference between some minor damage and Hi, losing Mary, everything. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. It makes me feel great that I, that I can see Marianne standing here with a smile on her face knowing that she's going to be able to get back into her house. Great job. Well done. You're welcome. And resume with her normal life.